It's an honor to chat with you. Well, uh, it, it, it's my honor to be standing here. <laughs> you're, you're a 10 time winner and you're here tonight paying tribute to your friend Jimmy Buffett. And um, people don't realize how deep his ties are to this city, like Cheeseburger in Paradise, written down at Rotiers, and some of the other stuff. That it, I mean, this town was Jimmy for a long, long time. It, it was. And, you know, and he was a journalist here in town. Yeah, he worked right. for Billboard before he ever got a record deal. And, yeah. Uh, no, he loved Nashville. We, his final album we recorded here in, in town, you know, and, and had a blast. And he's such a fan of so much music that's come from here, and he's been a part of so much music that's come from here. It's fitting that this particular group gets to send him off in a good way tonight. And, and he's not going anywhere. His music's yeah. going to keep rolling around every boat on earth for yeah. the next... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. When I, when I think of his music, I think of your music, I think of Alan's music, I, th I especially think of Kenny living sure. his life sure. yeah, uh, as well. Yeah. Um, did you guys get a chance to work on it a little bit uh, before you're going on stage tonight, or are you just going to jump in there and go for it? No, well, we're, we, we know what we're going to do because, <laughs> because we had to practice making it through the song and not break down, yeah. you know, but, but in honest, honestly, at this point, we're just trying to carry on a little bit of the joy that he sent out through the world, and, and I think we're going to be able to do that. It, it is an emotional thing yeah. to play his songs. But uh, but it's a good emotion. Yeah. I mean, it's speaking of joy, every single person we've talked to, we said, what are you most looking forward to? Kenny said the other day when we when we were first talking about this, he said if I didn't know about Jimmy, I would still be in East Tennessee, and uh, he said I, I wouldn't be here if it right. weren't for him. And, and me certainly, he sent me a note when I was 19. Uh, he heard my first little singer songwriter album, and and encouraged me and took me under his wing that long ago. So I got to ride shotgun with him for 40 plus years, and. Uh, I, you know, I owe the guy so much that I won't be able to ever repay, but we're, we're maybe get a nickel's worth of it out oh there tonight goodness. trying to sing his song. He changed your life. He changed it in a big way, no question about it. I would be a, a pretty crappy farmer in Mississippi <laughs> if uh, if it wasn't for him. So. Well, he changed our lives by encouraging you and exposing you to all of us. So we're thankful for that. Well, I, 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 I'm grateful you look at it that <laughs> way, and I'm definitely proud to be here. Thank you, now, guys. Now, when these young kids on the carpet call you a legend, does that make you feel a little like, do you feel like kind of slapping them around a little bit and saying, no, I, excuse I, me, I, I'm I, just starting? <laughs> I said a couple, of, a couple of rows back, I, I've actually been the the oldest guy in the New Faces show in three different decades. I think that might be a record of some kind, you know. But. And Mac McAnally up for the Horizon Award. Thank you. Yeah. Um, no, it's great to see you, and, and, and thank you so much it. for everything, Mac. We and appreciate thank you guys it. for the help. It, it's a pleasure. It's fun tonight. Likewise. Good to see you, sir. Oh, yeah. Please. This way a little.